was apparently an embarrassing moment for Mrs. Johnson. Do you have any regrets about that? No, I don't have any regrets about it at all. Why? Welcome to Yams Nation, where we break down various aspects of the entertainment industry and the media. Today, we're delving into the lives of eight Black celebrities whose careers were impacted by their social activism. Paul Robeson, a talented actor, singer, and activist. From the 1920s up to the 1950s, he gained prominence on both stage and screen during this time. Some of his notable acting roles include The Emperor Jones, 1933, and Othello, 1943. Robeson faced blacklisting during the Red Scare era due to his political beliefs and outspoken advocacy for civil rights. Robeson's career was severely hampered by his activism. He was targeted by the House Un-American Activities Committee, HUAC, and labeled as a communist sympathizer due to his support for labor rights, civil rights, and anti-colonial movements around the world. Robeson's passport was revoked for eight years by the U.S. government, severely limiting his ability to travel and perform internationally. He was barred from performing in the United States and faced significant challenges in finding work abroad. However, his legacy as a pioneer for civil rights and a champion for the oppressed endures to this day. During the 1940s, Lena Horne's good looks and silky singing voice made her one of the first African-American stars of the stage and screen. She still ran up against institutional racism, however, and her frustrations eventually drove her to join up with a variety of activist groups, many of which were populated by political radicals and communists. Though never a party member herself, Horn was found guilty by association and blacklisted after her name appeared in red channels in 1950. Unable to work in television or film, she spent the next few years touring as a nightclub and cabaret singer. She also fought to clear her name by publicly repudiating communism and undertaking a letter-writing campaign to prominent journalists and entertainment figures. The plan worked. Horn's reputation was slowly rehabilitated, and by the late 1950s, she was once again appearing on television variety shows and recording hit records. Despite her brush with the blacklist, she remained a political activist and later took part in civil rights protests during the 1960s. Harry Belafonte, a prominent actor and singer, faced challenges in Hollywood due to his activism and outspoken criticism of racial injustice. Despite his immense talent and widespread popularity as a performer, Belafonte's commitment to social justice often put him at odds with the entertainment industry's status quo. Belafonte was not afraid to use his platform to shine a light on issues such as racial inequality, poverty, and colonialism. He was a close friend and confidant of civil rights leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. and played a significant role in the civil rights movement, using his celebrity status to raise awareness and funds for the cause. I believe that because a man is black, he's right, or that he has any right to office or position based upon his color. But I do feel very strongly about the fact that great men have been disenfranchised for a long time and have not been able to sit in high places politically or on other levels because of color. Belafonte's activism made him a target of surveillance and harassment by government agencies, including the FBI, which kept a file on him for his alleged ties to communist organizations. This scrutiny, combined with the reluctance of some in Hollywood to associate with outspoken activists, limited Belafonte's opportunities in the entertainment industry. He used his platform not only to entertain audiences, but also to advocate for social change, leaving a lasting impact on both the entertainment industry and the fight for civil rights. Eartha Kitt. Known for her sultry voice and captivating performances, Kitt faced backlash and professional setbacks after speaking out against the Vietnam War at a White House luncheon in 1968. Despite her reputation as an international star and sex symbol, Kit's outspokenness on political issues made her a target of scrutiny 
and criticism from the U.S. government and conservative groups. Kitt's remarks at the White House, where she directly confronted First Lady Lady Bird Johnson about the impact of the war on America's youth, caused a media firestorm and led to a significant decline in her career opportunities. It was apparently an embarrassing moment for Mrs. Johnson. Do you have any regrets about that? No, I don't have any regrets about it at all. Why should I be upset by the fact that she was embarrassed? That's her problem. She was labeled as a sadistic nymphomaniac and a snake by the CIA and was effectively blacklisted from mainstream entertainment venues. Despite facing professional setbacks and being shunned by the entertainment industry, Kit remained steadfast in her convictions and continued to use her platform to advocate for social justice and human rights. Kit's courageous stance against injustice and her willingness to sacrifice her career for her beliefs are a testament to her strength of character and unwavering commitment to speaking truth to power. Muhammad Ali, the legendary boxer and activist, faced significant consequences for speaking out against the Vietnam War during the 1960s. In 1967, Ali famously refused to be drafted into the U.S. military, citing his religious beliefs as a member of the Nation of Islam and his opposition to the war. As a result of his refusal to serve, Ali was arrested, stripped of his boxing titles, and banned from boxing for over three years during the prime of his career. He faced widespread criticism and condemnation, with many viewing him as unpatriotic and disrespectful to the country. Despite the backlash, Ali remained steadfast in his convictions, famously stating, I ain't got no quarrel with them Viet Cong. Gentlemen, Mr. Muhammad Ali has just refused to be inducted into the United States Armed Forces. He refused induction on the grounds of his religious convictions on war. My conscience won't let me go shoot my brother or some poor hungry people in the mud for big powerful America and shoot them for what? They never called me nigger. His principled stand against the war made him a symbol of resistance and earned him respect from many who opposed the conflict. In 1971, the United States Supreme Court overturned Ali's conviction for refusing to be drafted, citing procedural errors in the draft board's handling of his case. With his legal victory secured, Ali was able to resume his boxing career and went on to become one of the most celebrated athletes and activists of the 20th century. His stance against the Vietnam War and his willingness to sacrifice his career for his beliefs cemented his legacy as a champion both inside and outside the ring. Craig Hodges, a former NBA player, faced consequences for his activism and outspokenness during his career. In 1991, Hodges, then a member of the Chicago Bulls, attended the White House ceremony honoring the Bulls' NBA championship victory. During the event, Hodges took the opportunity to express his concerns about social justice issues affecting African Americans. Hodges handed a letter to President George H.W. Bush outlining issues such as poverty, racial inequality, and the lack of opportunities for black communities. In the letter, Hodges urged the president to address these issues and provide support for marginalized communities. Following this incident, Hodges faced difficulty finding a team willing to sign him, and his NBA career effectively came to an end. Despite being a skilled player, his reputation as an activist likely played a role in his inability to secure a contract with another team. Hodges' experience highlights the challenges faced by athletes who choose to speak out on social and political issues. Chris Jackson, now known as Mahmoud abdul Rauf, faced significant backlash in the NBA for his decision not to stand for the national anthem during the 1995-1996 season. abdul Rauf, who was playing for the Denver Nuggets at the time, cited his religious beliefs as a Muslim and his opposition to social injustice as reasons for his protest. abdul Rauf's decision sparked controversy and outrage, with many criticizing him for disrespecting the flag and the country. The NBA initially suspended abdul Rauf for his refusal to stand during the anthem, but later reached a compromise where he would stand and pray with his head down during the anthem. abdul Rauf's protest had lasting consequences for his career. 
Many believe that his protest played a significant role in teams' reluctance to sign him or give him significant playing time. Abdul Rauf's stance against the national anthem and his subsequent treatment by the NBA highlight the challenges faced by athletes who choose to use their platform to speak out on social and political issues. Colin Kaepernick, a former NFL quarterback, gained international attention in 2016 when he chose to kneel during the pre-game national anthem as a protest against racial injustice and police brutality in the United States. That's what's really going on in this country. There are a lot of things that are going on that are unjust, people aren't being held accountable for, and that's something that needs to change. His protest sparked widespread debate and controversy, with some praising his activism and others condemning it as disrespectful to the flag and the military. As a result of his protest, Kaepernick faced significant backlash from fans, politicians, and even fellow players. He became a polarizing figure, with many calling for his dismissal from the NFL. Despite being a talented quarterback who had led the San Francisco 49ers to the Super Bowl in 2013, many believe that Kaepernick's activism played a significant role in his inability to secure a contract with another NFL team. Despite his skills and accomplishments on the field, teams appeared hesitant to sign him due to concerns about potential backlash from fans and sponsors. Kaepernick filed a grievance against the NFL, accusing the league and its teams of colluding to keep him out of the league because of his protest. In 2019, Kaepernick reached a settlement with the NFL, ending his grievance and allowing him to continue his activism outside of football. Thank you for tuning in to discover the journeys of these remarkable individuals. Their stories shed light on the complexities of fame, activism, and the power of using one's platform for change. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, have a nice day.